Why are you entering? What are you picking? I shouted nobody should come and enter my video. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chidara Mwaka and if this is your first time here, welcome. I just said that. Um, basically what we do on this channel is we speak about hot topics. I did something on the Me Too movement, sexual harassment, um, adventures. So we go traveling. I did something on gorilla trekking in Rwanda. And also I share my creative portfolio because I am a creative in Nigeria. If you're returning, you know how we do. You know how we do. And for everybody, if we haven't subscribed, please click on the on that very 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 red button below and subscribe to my youtube channel there's a notification bell there as well so put up um, click that as well just so that you are aware when i put up a video and without further much ado let's get right into it you don't have to wait. you just have to change ah so today i'm speaking about why it is hard to be a youtube content creator I just had an accent there. Yeah, let's let's scratch that. So we're going to be talking about why YouTube content creation isn't for everybody. Okay, it's not for everybody. And I'm going to freestyle because you know I told I thought about this this morning. And I'm like, you know what? You're going to make a video and you're going to post it. So first things first, why creating content on YouTube isn't for everybody is because it is a full time job. I mean, YouTube content creation is a full time job. And not just something that you swing it's going to be hard for you to marry a full-time job in nine to five with creating content for youtube reason being that there are like lots of people on youtube looking for content and if you're very irregular with the way you post you will be missed easily so one of the ways to grow your youtube channel is by constantly posting and if you don't do that it's a, it's a, it's a thing of you snooze you lose it's not impossible okay it's not impossible but it's really hard and that's why that's one reason that's one reason why creating content on youtube isn't for everybody not everybody can handle that okay <sighs> number two second reason why creating content on youtube isn't for everybody is because the quality of equipment needed to create the standard if they're the standard that people should be seeing like your viewers and people that you want to be on your channel it's kind of hard to get just once unless <laughs> your daddy's okay though unless you're rich and you know you have that money at your disposal it's going to be hard so for me i wanted to start a youtube channel and i'm like i don't have a camera i can't start going to this place to get a camera and shoot so i don't have a tripod but do you know what i did i did the nike way and i'm like just do it so right now i shoot with my tripod and a selfie no i was about to say selfie stick my tripod and my iphone 6s now the issue with just using these two things is not like it's impossible to create quality content because like if i do say so myself my videos are banging sometimes yeah but right now i think there's light fluctuation you can hear the dog barking and other things that you know would always limit you creating your your youtube video and sometimes you want to create video on the go you want to do things when you want to do it when you have that idea if you don't have like a studio space you have lights you have your equipment to shoot like a video at that particular point when you want it it's going to be hard but that's not impossible because right now we are doing this right we're shooting with my iphone 6s and a tripod but we would always have those issues of not being able to do certain things at a particular point where we want to because of the equipment that we have so that's the number two reason number three number three is dear to my heart okay <laughs> it's dear to my heart if you procrastinate you're dead. <laughs> procrastination is gonna kill you if you do procrastinate, it's going to be hard for you to create content for your YouTube because it's like, ah, oh, I'll do it today. No, I'll do it tomorrow. And then at the end of the day, you, you end up losing certain stuff. So for instance, I want to do hot topics and I intend to do hot topics and just maybe speak about hot topics with my friends. But the issue here is I procrastinate a lot. I am honest. I procrastinate a lot. And so... I miss certain things when they're happening and I miss creating certain things when I should because you know this bed is quite comfy and I want to sleep you know it's it's a lot of things but I mean <laughs> it's affecting what I should have been doing because if I have been posting twice regularly every week on YouTube 
I be I believe that I would have had a significant number of subscribers, my content would have been out there, people would have been seeing it, people would appreciate it, I would get comments and things on what I can be doing better and that kind of stuff. But you know, procrastinating is gonna kill you. So if you do procrastinate, which is a bad thing in general, it's also gonna be bad for your YouTube channel. Yes, you're welcome. Um, what other reason is why 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 content creation is not for everybody? Because the art of creating content is not easy okay it's not just like oh my gosh i'm a content creator uh the fourth reason is because it does take a lot of brain power to create the kind of content that people want to see on youtube some people wing it right and they get it but i don't think it works all the time because you just start a video you've been misled by the title you start a video and you're just like nah not me and then you move on to the next thing but as a content creator and if you have specific things that you want to deal with like i'm talking about adventures i'm talking about hot topics and i'm also talking about life of being a creative in nigeria which is why i did this video because i'm like oh it applies it does apply and i'm also sharing my creative portfolio but when you don't have any of those things what do you do you have to be creative that's the creative part in content okay that's the creative part and most people don't have it so it's kind of hard so i'm kind of doing this video to remind myself that these are the reasons why it's hard but this is not the reason why it's impossible for you to create content on youtube because regardless i am here right regardless of number one which is that i have a nine to five i'm still shooting this video regardless of number two which is um can someone remind me equipment I'm still shooting this video regardless of number three, which is procrastination. I, I am the biggest. <laughs> I am the biggest. I'm still here. And regardless of number four, which is that it takes a lot of brain power. <laughs> I'm here, guys. <laughs> I'm here. And I don't know if I did cover everything on that, but those are the reasons why it's hard for anybody to become a youtube content creator and that's my two cents don't take it to the bank maybe take it to the bank but that's my two cents and that's the end of the video it's pretty short i wanted it to be pretty short uh thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe give me a like a thumbs up because it would encourage me and i really like to see the thumbs up people give me thumbs down and i'm just wondering what, what did i do what did i do to you so yeah thumbs up no thumbs down right only thumbs up comment tell me what if you're if you're trying to start your youtube channel tell me what you you know faced like a like a problem or an issue you faced with creating content on youtube um if you're thinking about starting maybe this might be helpful let me know leave that in the comment section below don't forget to click on the notification bell so you know when we have a video up until next time stay gracious bye, bye.